Yo, what's up, YouTube? Juicy J here. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm the 2019 World Cyber Games Clash World Champ. And I saw the comments in the last video. You guys are interested in seeing the Pompeo Balloon deck. This Pompeo Balloon deck, um, I played a couple games in the GC, as you guys can see. We're 8 and 1. We're going to try and finish it off here. Hopefully, go with a clean 12 and 1. Uh, let's hop in the games while I'm continuing. Uh, my talk here about the deck so initial impressions here it's unlike any other balloon deck out there most balloon cycle decks are balloon cycle decks usually don't have a big spell and they're more oriented to a double small spell usually barbaral snowball and with that quicker cycle you can just immediately keep playing balloons and balloons and balloons this balloon deck it's not really a balloon cycle deck it's more a balloon beatdown kind of deck sometimes i'm even winning games without playing the balloon at all um, switching towards like a beat town with like a defending golem brawler and an inferno dragon i play like an ice golem in front and use a miner in order to uh, take out any sort of glass cannon for example and sometimes the winning games is only like goblin brawler and minor damage or sometimes if you're lucky you get a nice inferno dragon uh, to lock onto a tower and also we have the zap in this deck whereas most decks most usually have snowball you have the zap to get nice resets to the miner to keep the inferno dragon pumping anyways not a lot of people play gcs nowadays so it's actually super sweaty so i'm definitely gonna have to cut here and i'll see you guys once i'm in there all right that actually took years to find the game i'm not gonna cap but uh we're in and let's get it all right he's not playing oh yeah he is okay maybe peck a british fan not a big fan of this matchup since a lot of this deck is more air oriented with the mega minion inferno dragon um we don't have a whole lot of air counters probably gonna inferno dragon right now i'm not sure if that's the best play Okay, he's got a heal spirit coming in. So maybe not back a bridge ram. Could actually be a different kind. Mega Knight. Interesting. Let's just Mega Minion back right now. Let's see if this is gonna cross. If it doesn't cross, I can actually go like this. My friend Dragon should actually kill his Mega Mega Minion. Has to be responded to. Or else it is gonna get hit. That's great. Mega Minion taking out this bandit. Should completely wipe it out. Perfect. I feel like this is the right moment to go with the balloon. I don't think that Inferno Dragon is back in cycle yet. Okay. I was mistaken. Should have realized it was Ram Rider a lot sooner. At the very least, I am going to get the balloon death damage onto the Magic Archer, which, you know, I don't mind. Zap might even kill it. I'm not sure if it's worth zapping. Let's wait and see if he protects it. Yeah, if he tries to protect it, I'll just zap. Thought the zap would kill it. Guess not. Log would 100% done that, though. Hmm, what are we thinking here, boys? So, Mega Knight, Bridge Spam. Yo, chill. Chill, my guy. Just kite that bandit to the opposite lane. Not allow the rage to take effect. This guy definitely knows what he's doing, like taking advantage of the fact that he really don't have so many ground counters. We're gonna take a Fireblunt's Magic Arch this time for sure. Okay, Calvin Cage. Let's go Mega Minion as well. Wait for that Inferno Dragon to heat up a bit and you go with a zap, stunning it. Nice fireball by my opponent there. Hoping this doesn't dash fortunate I'm actually gonna keep applying some pressure I'm gonna zap here I might actually connect with that balloon that's actually beautiful two there's no way I get two. Oh my gosh balloon nerf please bro I just won the game <laughs> Like, I didn't even think that balloon was going to get one shot, and now it's over here getting two. Uh, GG. <laughs> well, tough luck for that guy. Um, he definitely has a decent matchup, I'd say. Like, he has nice bridge frame units. I don't have a whole lot of ground counters. I do have the ice goal on the cage, but I need to use cage on the ram rider every time. And I would like to use a minor on offense. That leaves me with ice goal on the counter, lumberjack bandit combinations, which really won't get it done every time. 
Um, the, also, the Ram Rider is one of the best counters of Bloon, as well as the Inferno Dragon is also a very nice counter of Bloon. But unfortunately for him, I just think he underdefended that Balloon a little bit. He went with the Ram Rider, but I had other units distract that Ram Rider, as well as my Miner was able to take out that pesky Magic Archer. Um, which is why I played it so far back. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut again because this is going to take years. Uh, and actually, like, being top 500 ladder, you find a game way quicker than GCs. Like, the only people that play GCs nowadays are, like, hard grinders, I feel like. But anyways, I'll see you guys once I'm in. All right, cop it in. Going against Messiah. I wonder if it's the same Messiah as, like, the owner of AK Syndicate. Be crazy. Let's give him the good luck either way here. He's going to go with Zap and send in a minor start off. My favorite minor placement. I think I've talked about that before. Let's go with the fireball here. Kills magic archer. Just take it out. Can't do that with normal balloon decks, that's for sure. Fireball really helps out for clearing stuff like magic archer, e -wiz, um, you know, any glass can, musketeer, hunter, fireball zap just takes them out pretty instantaneously. Kind of forced the cage here, unfortunately. Didn't have any other ground counter cycle. Once again, going against a bridge spin deck. Let's go with this and a zap. It's gonna be the best I got, I think. Could be worse. Um, I think this is gonna be weird, but I'm just gonna tank this with Inferno Dragon. Cause now his Ewiz is actually out of cycle. I'm actually gonna fake him out here. And go with a minor and a pre fireball hitting the ghost. Now this Inferno Dragon actually becomes pretty scary. Forced to use a battle ram on it, and now I can use the cage to get really nice value, kill the battle ram and the ghost. That was a really nice uh, sequence there. So I actually went with the Miner, acting like I was going after that Magic Archer and then just pre-fireballing, expecting him for, it to, for him to protect it with something. Once again, I should go Ice Skull here, defend the Bandit. Always playing my ground unit close enough to the Bandit so it doesn't dash, really important. Let's go Mega Minion back and kind of see what he does. All right, this time I'm actually gonna switch it up. Go with this onto here. Yeah. So we're just completely Mines games in now. Okay, we are going to take some damage, but look at the amount of damage that we were actually able to put out. He does quite a number to us, and that's well played. But I definitely outplayed the crap of him on the right side. I actually faked him out hardcore. Let's go with Inferno Dragon back. This is awkward. I, I might actually pressure this side. Might have to do it. See if that ghost actually able to take it out. Doesn't look like it. Even if it did, the situation I was in was absolutely fantastic. So let me kind of explain my thought process there with that play that really kind of turned the tide. So last time, I minor on the tower and pre fireballed where the magic archer was in order to uh, mind games him because he wanted to protect the magic archer. Didn't work out. Uh, this time, I went with minor on the tower. He expected me to sorry i went with miner on the magic archer he expected me to play the miner on the tower like i did last time so he went with go so he went with ewiz and he went with ghost i fireball zapped both of them miner takes out for the most part the magic archer mega Minion got had to get one more swipe in and then i got that balloon hit as well as an absurd amount of mega Minion hits brought that tower down to 316 next thing i just have to basically defend and i win a couple minor hits and a fireball takes out the left side so i went in front of dragon right at that point he pecked in the left side i hard pressure the right fireballs out the ewiz allow the inferno dragon to get mega value cycle back to another inferno dragon that just completely melts his pekka because his electro is not in cycle um so that's kind of what happened down there and yeah very very solid gameplay i'd say hope you guys are learning something and if you are definitely drop a like a goal on this video is going to be uh I mean, let's just do 100 likes again. I thought that was a good goal from last video. Let me know if I should up that goal. I don't know. I'm kind of 
a newbie at YouTube at this point. So <laughs> also definitely drop a comment down below. Uh, tell me what deck you guys want to see next. And if you're enjoying the long videos or if you want to see short videos, any feedback at all is uh, absolutely beautiful. Anyways, I'm definitely going to cut here because it's taking a really long time. So I'll see you guys then. All right, hopping in. <clears throat> Going in speed up, so some sort of bait deck. Once again, we don't really have a whole lot of splash, so seeing that bait is definitely not good for us. Prince, most likely Prince bait, unfortunately. Let's go to Mega Man here. Dawn Brawl should take that Prince out. Wow, that's so unlucky. That's ridiculously unlucky. The minor pressure. Got a kite here and got a cage. Oh my god. Maybe my firm dragon kill that tower for a tower trade. That's clutch. Firm dragon OP. I have to watch out. I can't get three crowns though. Wow. Ridiculous. Honestly, we just got really unlucky. Like, I Infern Dragon the back right at the same exact moment that he goblins the giant. Like, if I would have known he was going to goblin giant, but 100% Infern Dragon same lane, I would have been so much better off. We were able to tower trade, but uh, that's just not going to be enough right now because King Tower is extremely low. Let's go with the cage right here. Getting as many cages down in a match like this is definitely crucial. That cage placement right there basically is going to pull everything from either side. Well, I shouldn't say that, but hopefully you get the point. So as you guys can see here, it's just absolutely brutal for me to defend. I'm spending literally 20 elixir plus on defense. Um, it's frustrating. Basically necessary for me to do that though. I just need to get my friend dragons to lock onto the princes and stuff like that, honestly. <laughs> Dang, man, that's so unfortunate. I'm just defending my heart out right now. Goblin, oh, he gets that, he gets that hit in now. Ridiculous. Bro, my cards aren't even placing. Wow. Unfortunate loss to a hard counter as well as uh, that lag like I probably could have kept up my defense and maybe gone in because obviously his ground is absurd but his air defense is very lacking um, he's got bats and screw gobs, that's about it unfortunately gonna be lost there because of the lag um, it's not my Wi-Fi it's actually a server lag it's clash rails issue can't really do much about it on the bright side we're gonna find another game extremely quickly here so Let's just win. Once again here, just basically bad luck, boys. Unfortunately, um, yeah, unfortunately, just trying to get the zap down. Is it even worth it? Okay, probably not. So unfortunately just not starting the game off with the cage. It's just gonna be brutal versus hog rider. Looks like we're going against a hog earthquake. 
with um, Snowball and Bomb Tower and Musky. So Musky's is only ground or air counter, which is extremely helpful for us. Let me just fireball zap that. Okay, so he's got a Valkyrie. I really hope he doesn't have rocket. Like, if he rockets this, it's game over. I'd like to hope that he has that uh, Earthquake. So this is a really nice hog counter, uh, playing the cage right there. Maybe I messed up a timing or something like that, but usually it's like a full counter. Quick fireball zap right there. And Fern Dragon gets massive value. And it's going to basically kill this Valkyrie, I think. Yep, look at that. Beautiful. What's not beautiful is the fact that I do not have my cage back in cycle. And that's going to be a lot of damage. Can't really do anything about it. Whew. A little bit tilted after that last game, losing to some server lag. Clash Royale, if you're watching, fix your servers. <clears throat> but it's time to be aggressive. I'm gonna go with a pre miner onto where I think he's gonna place that musketeer. No way. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Didn't have enough elixir. Musketeer, not gonna die. Wow. And now, if. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if I couldn't have. Uh, if I. I can't speak. That's unlucky. <laughs> A zap here. <clears throat> I think Inferno Dragons are like necessary for my success, honestly. <sighs> Miner, we have to get connected on tower at this point in the game. I'm not gonna mess up my fireball zap, and I think we clutched up, boys. Whew. That was difficult. That was a tough game. We had some nice cage placements, stopping some hog hits. We started off really, really unfortunately um, not having the cage in cycle, but we were able to come back because of the fact that he really only has the musketeer for the defense. He also has bomb tower, the death bomb, the bomb tower, and the snowball. So defending is not too bad for him. Um, but it really just comes down to the use of the miner as well. Like getting that minor chip damage was definitely really, really helpful. Uh, sometimes with balloon decks, you're never going to get a balloon hit. And it comes down to your minor chip damage and your balloon death damage. And that's why this deck is so unique because you don't have to just rely on that either. I also have that fireball as my big spell to get a lot of chip damage in. Anyways, next game here going against Anani. Shout out to Anani, man. All right, so probably gonna go Ice Golem back. It's one of my favorite starting plays. It's not very, uh, it's just basically pretty passive. It's the reason why I like it. At this point, I'm, mm, it's tough. I don't know if I'd rather Inferno Dragon back or go with the Goblin Cage. With my Balloon being next card. Let's go with Inferno Dragon. Okay, Golem. This is what my gut tells me is the best play. We'll see if I'm right or not. It all depends. Wait, I could zap. Oh! I'm chilling. I really thought that Zap might stun the tower just enough to get another balloon hit. I went for it, and either way, I think it was a good play because the stun also helped the fact that uh, it was allowed my baby dragon to not get killed by the tower instantly, and it helps me be able to melt that golem so quickly without my Inferno Dragon. Uh, 
So this is a nice Mega Minion pull I like to do. Zero hits from the Mega Minion and full counter. My Miner can now get some ship damage in, which is really important. This is where it gets tricky, boys. Because he has lightning. I did not give lightning value. Another thing about this deck that if you watch from Pale, you'll see often he will use minor defensively. Never be afraid to use minor defensively. And pretty solid defense. Just have to finish out this game right now. Let's get a nice fireball here. And a zap. At the very least, just diminishing that counter push at the same time. Using the Ice Golem to kite is absolutely crucial, as well as so valuable. Let's just make sure we don't choke on this other side. And get a nice fireball here. I think we also outcycled the uh, uh, tornado there with that balloon. So, really solid game, showing up some different matchups. That's what I like to do for you guys, going against Golem. That's going to be the 12 and 2. Um, let's go and open this chest. I need Skeleton Drags. The only card I don't have maxed out. Come on, baby. Give me some Skelly Drags. That's... That. Yo, let's go! Dude, I thought that there's so many comments coming through. I didn't think there would be any comments left in the chest. But that's hype. That's a lot of Skelly Drags. We are working our way towards maxing those out. About halfway now. Let's go. Anyways, here's the deck. Pompeo Balloon. Pompeo has gotten first in the world with his deck before. And he's still playing it. Like, it's a very, very solid deck. Good in every meta. As long as you get the ins and outs and understand the cycle, that's probably the biggest thing. Because, like I said, in most balloon decks, you got Snowball, Barb Barrel, and it really just improves your cycle. It makes you be able to go really quickly. Um, but if you can understand the cycle of this deck and make sure you're playing the right cards in the right situations based on your cycle, you're going to be able to get some nice Fireball Zap combinations and as well as Fireball value to go along with your Balloon Death Damage and Minor Chip to finish out games. Um, Inferno Dragon and Mega Minion, it seems pretty redundant, but together, as you can see in that last match, they worked well, so, like they worked so well together. Like the Inferno Dragon just is so annoying. Um, it forced him to lightning. The cage is another great ground defense. And then I played the Mega Minion on top of the Baby Dragon. I'm sure he wasn't expecting that. Mega Minion just absolutely shredding any sort of air support. But once again, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate everyone who watched up to this point. When you guys watch through my entire video, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, definitely subscribe down below for more Clash Royale content, as well as turn on notifications. I saw some comments in the last video. If you guys are not able to turn on notifications, there's a little bit of a YouTube glitch. All you gotta do is unsubscribe and then resubscribe, and you're gonna be able to turn on those notifications to uh, check out my daily uploads. I'm doing my best for daily uploads. Yesterday, I got my video out a little bit late. I really just gotta get ahead of schedule and make things easier for myself, but I'm doing my best and I hope you guys are understanding that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay juicy and peace out.